Oh. Whoa. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's up, everyone? Rob back with another reaction. What do you think of the uh, 70s sleazy director look? I just need those yellow shades. These are broken, so they're going to be kind of tilted. You get the point. Speaking of sleaze, we're going to check out an 80s slasher, which got recommended a bunch of times. And this one's The Mutilator. Um, yeah. Yeah. Don't know much about it besides its reputation of being awesome. I'm down. Anyway, let's let's check out The Mutilator. It's streaming on Shudder if you have Shudder. Here we go. Happy birthday, Daddy. All queen by me. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Oh, no. Oh, man. You know this is going to end badly. Okay. Mama. Mama. Was that by accident? <laughs> It was an accident, Paul. That was, that was a cool intro, though. That's gonna be like the killer's origin story, I guess. Ball break, and here we sit. So we'll sit around here just like we did last year. It's depressing. Hey, it's like high schoolers, uh, right? You have a telephone call? <laughs> they all look in their 30s. I don't believe it. Don't believe what? My old man. He wants me to close up his condo for the winter. Right. I like how, in case you didn't know, they were like students. Books and the it's like geography. A ten-year-old can handle it. It's a snap. Nothing to it. We can handle that. Yeah. How come we didn't know you had a condo at the beach? No way. Four days of R and R at the beach. I'm in. She's in. I'm in. Sounds good to me. I got a bad feeling about this. Wanna have a good time. <laughs> We're going on now. A ball break, walking in and head. Sounds like a sitcom opening or something. We're going on now. A ball break, running in the sand, feeling alright. This is amazing. Gotta stock up on the brewskis. That natural light. Ugh. <laughs> what took you so long? Oh man, wait till you guys hear about this one. This is great. You're a 12 pack between six people? You get two beers each? What? For like a weekend? Bananas. We're going on a ball break. This place is wide open. Someone's been there. It's nothing, just a little mess. Come on in. What do you mean? Well, he likes to come down with his drinking buddies and they swap lies about the good old days when they were great white hunters and macho men. Macho, huh? Let me grab a sweater. I need to join the club here. Jeez, would you look at all this shit? Rah, rah. Look at... How'd they do it? 28 pounds. It's just like that, right? Dad didn't eat it. 
He's what's called a trophy hunter. Tell us about this. <laughs> this one's great. One night, Big Ed, I mean, Dad, and his buddies were all over here having a drinking party. Hey, let's throw pyramid singers to the wall. <laughs> he was so proud, he nailed a picture frame around it. <laughs> Be like, dude, your dad's a psycho, man. I'm getting out of here. What went there? Uh, one of my dad's favorite things, his battle axe. It's not there now. <laughs> no shit. Maybe it was stolen. Sometimes he takes his toys home for Oh, uh, you know, that's going to play a part, probably. Uh, need any help lighting your fire? Oh! <laughs> That is an awesome view, though. <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> oh my god! Killing kids off here? I thought he was the kid all grown up, the guy in red. I'm sure it'll make sense later, but yeah, right now I'm kind of just like a little confused. He supposes in here. What do you suppose these are for? Wouldn't think they'd have to be so sharp, would you? So they're, is it the dad? Yeah, I mean, they're just showing him. Not bad, but your rubbers are too big. Oh, good one. Still on up, I'm right behind you. <laughs> that wasn't too bad. Blech. That was. Thanks. Man. I've had about enough. Let's walk off some of that food. Come on, you guys. Let's go for a walk on the beach. <laughs> we'll catch up to you later. Right. Come on, you guys. Let's go take a walk on the beach. Kind of sounds like Hank Hill. <laughs> I haven't mentioned yet that this is kind of a cool change of pace. I thought this was going to be kind of one of those... Slashers in the woods. Come on. Where? To the pool, dummy. All right. Just going skinny dipping in. In the pool. I don't know about you, but what's the last like current movie that's done skinny dipping? I can't think of any off the top of my head. But that was in every 80s movie. They're always skinny dipping. We might get some action here. hear that shit this thank god for small favors dude he sounds like Hank Hill <laughs> I'm telling you <laughs> thanks Falling right into a mouse trap here, dude.
Nice. Okay. I'm glad they showed something. Nice. You see him? I thought I saw something. Mike! Is everything all right here? Kids, be careful out here on the beach tonight. It's not dangerous, is it? This is a good time to ask. What's your go-to underrated 80s so slasher? It's like, this one's pretty solid so far. Beach at night. I'd have to hey, think about mine, but... Yeah, leave a comment if, if you have a good one to recommend to me. Getting a possible 1038 at 4 East Ocean Town. About to get taken out, bro. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good one. Damn. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, I got a great idea. How about a game of blind man's bluff? All right. I'll get the beers. No, I'll, I'll get them. Finally, there'll just be one person wandering around the house trying to find everybody else. Out! Remember that game Manhunt growing up? Or that's what we called it. It was like, starts off with one person, tags somebody, you know. Else. You know the killer is going to pop out somewhere, right? <laughs> uh. Bro, dude, check your sex. Yeah, I'll take one. Yeah, me too. Me too. I'm really worried about Mike and Linda. They've been gone so long. Hey, don't worry about Mike and Linda. They're just having a good time enjoying each other's company. Whatever you say, dude. Oh, there's a killer around here. He's taking his time with this, though. Like... <laughs> Building up a collection over here, though. Man, if that ain't bad enough. Look, we're all part of the Harry Chess Club over here. Unite. What about Mike and Linda, Ralph? I'd probably, I mean. Oh shit, is that something behind him? Alright! So leave it alone, dude. Just go back up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yup. <laughs> dude, you totally deserve that one. Pitchfork right to the neck. Classic. <laughs> All right. Yes. This is a solid 80s slasher. I mean. <laughs> I was just about to say, she's killing that nightgown, man. Like, rocking it hardcore. Oh, 
pop the collar a little bit. Oh, okay. Damn you, Ralph. Another cool slasher power shot. I gotta shout those out every time they come on the screen. It's like, what the hell are you doing out here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go find a payphone. One of you two go around this side, now I'll go around that side. Make it fast. Let's split up. Oh, nice. <laughs> Do something. Just not doing anything. Shit. Whoa. Oh. I was not expecting that. Sue? Susie Q. Sue? Where are you? <laughs> Got that fucking battle axe or whatever it is. kill this guy. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell. oh yeah. Ooh. Right in the heart. Move. Of course. Open the gas. No one. Wait, it's flooded. <laughs> oh my god, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, for a second I thought it got him. The cigarette letter. Ooh, nice. <laughs> this ending is bonkers, dude. Jesus Christ. Pull forward. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I thought I was going to cut the credits there.
When the leaves are summer. <laughs> oh. All right, well, just got done watching 1984's The Mutilator. I gotta say, it wasn't, like, top-tier 80s slasher, but, I mean, it's, to the casual fan, it's not, like, a household name. It's kind of obscure, so I wasn't expecting it to be on the level of, you know, something like that, but I found it very enjoyable. I thought it was kind of cool that it had a different setting, like, instead of a campground, it was... Or like summer camp it was just ki like high school kids on fall break at the beach that that was cool um unique and the killer had tons of different cool weapons that he was working with bunch of cool power shots in there so yeah um the mutilator is totally worth watching especially with like some drinks and some buddies most importantly it's quick it's under an hour and a half. It's like 83 minutes. So, yeah. What more can you ask for? Cool 80s slasher movie. I had a lot of fun watching it. Hope you dug the reaction. Like and subscribe if you're feeling it. And yeah, I'll be back sometime next week. So, <laughs> have a good one.